All right, okay, so today is going to be a slightly different day because I'm actually going to be shooting on ah, a brand new camera. Uh, so this uh, is a camera that I recently picked up. This is the Fuji Film X100V. Uh, it's a very sort of in-demand popular camera right now. I think because it's kind of blowing up on TikTok and social media and stuff. Uh, and I recently picked one up. I managed to get one. You can't really get them anymore because they're not in stock. So I got a second hand one uh, and I've been shooting with it for the past week. Uh, and the results are actually very interesting. All right. So straight off the bat, this thing is absolutely tiny. The weight is very low and it kind of, it makes me want to carry it with me every day, just for general everyday stuff, purely because it's size. Uh, I can literally just put the strap on it and just throw it around my side. And of course, another really cool thing about this camera uh, is the ability to essentially replicate film. Uh, you can basically input recipes into the camera whereby you can create different looks uh, that are already sort of inputted to the shot. Uh, and so you don't really need to edit anything. I'm just going to be shooting JPEGs of this thing. You can shoot raw as well if you just want to have a plain image to edit yourself. Uh, but I quite like the idea of just shooting JPEGs uh, and just having the look that you've already inputted into the camera. So you can actually choose from different looks already inbuilt with the camera, or you can input your own ones, uh, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. But anyway, the plan now is I'm gonna slap on my GoPro on my chest. I'm gonna go POV mode. Uh, I'm gonna go for a little walk around London with the Fuji X100V, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why I'm loving it so much. All right, so here we go. This is the POV with the Fuji X100V. Uh, it is currently about 9.20 a.m. Uh, on a Tuesday morning in London, so we've got some nice morning light as you can see here uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start shooting. Uh, I'm going to be shooting mainly in aperture priority mode. My aperture is going to be set here to f4. Uh, this means my shutter should do all my work automatically for me and I'm going to actually use the exposure conversation. I'm going to make it maybe minus, minus one or minus uh, two thirds or something like that. Uh, just because sometimes I find this thing overexposes a bit too much uh, and I'm going to be choosing or using my custom recipe um, and yeah let's just pretty much get straight into this that golden ray coming through there looks really really nice don't know how well you can see it so I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to it there we go Still sort of getting used to everything of how this camera works. But we're slowly making progress. Oh, this light is really cool. This one walks through that light. Boom. That's really cool. Yeah, it's quite nice. Let's get a shot of these guys. Pushing that trolley. I've got to say, it's been a while since I've done a POV, let alone with a new camera, so I'm kind of feeling a little bit rusty. Uh, it's also worth noting that I'm shooting with a 20% mist filter uh, on this thing, which is why some of the shots and the highlights might look a little bit uh, dreamy or blurry, um, but that's kind of just the, the look I really like. And at night, the mist filter looks incredible. Also around there, that looks beautiful. Got these guys walking with the case. That's super nice. Another thing, this is a fixed lens camera. So this is actually constantly shooting at the equivalent of around 35 mil, which is a, it's a very nice lens for street photography. Um, but it just means you kind of have to get a little bit closer your subject which isn't a bad thing um, but it just takes a bit of more practice let's get this girl going through this morning light here see if someone was stood at the top of this like a security guard or something that would make a very very nice shot I'm gonna take it anyway and just imagine someone stood there the colors that come out of this thing like no edit it's just pure jpeg super nice
super clean as well. Let's keep walking. Oh, this looks really nice. This couple here coming out. framing actually with these gates here We've got St Paul's in the background with some beautiful morning light on it it's partly the reason why well it's the only reason why I came out this early just so I could get some really nice soft soft lighting so we can use these gates for a bit of depth we've got the sun coming through here Wow, that light is absolutely beautiful. Let's get this done here. Going. It's a cool reflection, but it's a pretty poorly timed shot. Oh, this is really nice. Wow, these golden rays this morning. Super nice. He looks sick on that bike. Just coming through there. I wish I framed that a bit nicer. Might wait for another subject. Those are some really harsh shadows and harsh light, but it does look kind of nice. That's a cool shot. So basically what I'm doing here is, we've got my shadow here, and we've also got the shadow of people going up and down the stairs. I'm gonna come down and just get a shot of the shadows. So that's highlighted really nicely. Oh wow, that was sick. That was really cool. You can clearly make out their shadows on that staircase. Let's get another one. Wait for them to get a bit lower. single guy just got that one thing I found with this camera is that it's super hard shooting sort of directly into really bright sunlight or any light really so it's kind of better if you come off the light slightly so I'm off to the side of it right now and I'm using the light that comes in on the side. Meanwhile, I'm stood in the shade. Uh, and I find the colors actually work a lot nicer that way. It's quite a nice shot. Like that. Now, one thing that I actually did want to mention or touch on uh, was that a lot of you guys have actually asked me where I get my music from for my YouTube videos. So I actually use uh, a company called Epidemic Sound. I've used them for the past like three years now uh, for my YouTube videos uh, and they provide a really good amount of music 
Uh, so I would highly encourage you guys to go and check them out. Um, they're some completely licensed, so you can use it on all of your YouTube videos, uh, depending on the membership that you have. But yeah, if that is something you guys are interested in, I'll leave a little link in the description where you guys can find out a bit more. But for now, we're gonna keep walking around Chinatown. China, China, Chinatown? Chinatown, we're gonna do a few laps of Chinatown because the lighting in here right now is absolutely mental. So nice. God, wow. The light rays coming through here are just absolutely mental. glow behind this woman is mental. Oh, she's left it now, but she has some um, insane glow around her. That's what the mist filter does. It's really good at sort of diffusing that light around subjects. Okay, so that pretty much wraps things up here uh, for me here with the Fuji X100V. Uh, I know it was only a short little video, but to be honest with you, I am kind of still getting used to uh, to this camera. I don't really fully know how everything works. Uh, so I want to put a bit more time into that, uh, but I hope I wasn't doing anything obviously wrong. Uh, it's a great little camera uh, and I'm very looking forward to doing a lot more content with this. Uh, so you can stay tuned for that. If this is the first time that you're seeing my face on your screen, then feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, or maybe hit the, the like button. That would really help me out. But yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.